have changed the name of our channel. Our channel is now called Vidya Nagri. So welcome to Vidya Nagri. This is the second video under the playlist Dental Cementum. The topic we are dealing with in today's video is a very basic one in conservative dentistry. I really hope this video will help you to deal with your academics. So without further delay, let's get started. The first set of instruments are the diagnostic instruments or the exploratory instruments. In this, the first instrument is the mouth mirror, usually used for indirect vision, illumination or retraction of the tissues while performing a procedure. Next two are the straight uh, explorer and the Williams probe. The difference in both of these is the Williams probe contains marking uh, starting at 0.5 mm, then 1 mm, then 2 mm, then 3 mm, like that. The next one is the explorer, which has two ends, the shepherd's hook and the interproximal explorer. As the name suggests, the interproximal explorer part or the end is used to uh, explore or diagnose the interproximal areas or the embrasures in the... The next set of instruments are the cutting instruments. In this, the first two instruments that we have are chisels. Chisels are used for uh, sharpening the light, uh, line angles in the anterior teeth. Next up we have the set of gingival marginal trimmers or GMT. This help in proper beveling on the gingival enamel margin in lateral scraping motion. Next we have the enamel hatchet which is used to cleave undermined enamel in proximal cavities. Then we have the discoid shaped spoon excavator. The spoon excavator is used to uh, excavate soft dentinal caries. Next we have the mixing instruments and the filling instruments. In the mixing instruments at first we have the stainless steel spatula or the cement spatula usually used for mixing cements except GIC. Then we have the plastic spatula or the agate spatula. This is used to mix GIC. Now note here that GIC cannot be mixed on a glass slab. For GIC, we have to use a paper pad for mixing the liquid and the powder. Next, we have the filling instruments. This is called the plastic filling instrument. It has two ends, one condensing end and one carrying end. After the cement is mixed, uh, the carrying end is used to carry the cement and place it into the cavity. And then the condensing end is used to condense the cement into the uh, pulpal floor or the cavity floor. This is a traditional amalgam loader. This is used to carry silver amalgam from the site of mixing to the uh, part of the cavity which has to be restored. Next we have the condensers or the amalgam condensers. This is the round amalgam condenser that means its ends are rounded and serrated. And this is the parallelogram condenser this means this its ends are rhomboid shaped and serrated. The last set of instruments are the polishing and carving instruments. In this we have three basic type of carvers. This is the diamond carver which is used to carve occlusal surfaces. This is the Hollenbach carver. This is used to remove excess amalgam and carve the contour of the tooth. This is called the Ward's carver and this is usually used in the occlusal, facial and lingual surfaces of large amalgam restorations. This is a universal tophelmere matrix band retainer. It is used with a matrix band like that. It is used in prog uh, the restoration of proximal cavities so as to uh, this matrix band helps in creating a temporary wall opposite to the axial wall so that the original contour of the tooth can be restored. This is a cheap blower. This is basically used in the preclinical lab where there, uh, if there is a lacking of water or air spray, this can be used to blow out air like this by pumping and so as uh, it helps in cleaning the cavity. This is a glass slab. Almost every cement is mixed here except for GIC because 
uh, GIC is mixed in a paper pad since it might react to glass as you all know the full form of GIC is glass, glass anomer cement. This is a tra traditional mortar and pestle used for uh, triturating amalgam. This is a squeezing cloth used to squeeze out excess mercury from the silver amalgam mix. Is a very special thing. This is called cavity varnish. This is usually used to seal the dentinal tubules to avoid post-operative hypersensitivity in the dentin. So this is used before you apply the cement into your cavity with a cotton pellet. So that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also share our videos with your friends and family.